YouTube, it's Monique. Welcome back to my channel. Can you guys believe that it is 2017? What? Where did 2006 go? Did I say 2006? Clearly, I'm a whole decade back there somewhere. 2016, where did 2016 16 go? I can't talk today. So, I'm not gonna do like, hey, how was my year recap? My year was fine. Um, compared to some people where they're like, it was the worst year ever. Um, personally speaking, um, I didn't lose anyone close to me. Uh, most of my family members are in really good health. And uh, like I said, we didn't lose anyone this year, so it was a good year. Um, could have been better, but it was fine. Um, you know, we have a lot of things planned this year. So we are looking forward to 2016. I mean, okay. Can you guys tell I'm like all frazzled? I'm looking forward to 2017. 2016 is back that way. Okay. So guys, I have my December favorites for you. I was going to do my best of 2016, but I don't know. I just couldn't get it together this year. So I'm going to do my December favorites and just kind of keep it rolling right on to January favorites and when January favorites time comes up. Um, just because I didn't want to revisit my list. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna do it this year. Um, I have a cold, so I hope I don't sound too nasally to you guys. Um, I have been off half of the month of December. Yeah, about half of the month of December. So that being said, I didn't really wear much makeup even though I do have three makeup items because we did have Hanukkah celebrations and I did do a full face and had a good time, mind you. And I also spent a lot of time with my hair protected in a cover. So we'll talk about that first. So this is my trusty lock sock. And this is what I wear on my head at night to protect my hair. Now I'm gonna try to show you guys the logo so you guys can see. There is the logo right on the front there. Okay, and this is from, I think the company's name is Lock Sock. I don't remember the name of the company. Um, I think it's called Lock Sock. I'm not 100% sure, but I'll link it down below. This is what I use to protect my locks at night. Um, and yet it's really big. I, I think this is the medium size. Could you imagine it's so big? But it's to, you know, grow with your hair. So actually it kind of just flops off on my head like this a little bit. It almost reminds me of a Smurf hat, but this is blue and not white. But anyway, that's what I use to protect my hair at night. And I love it because it doesn't come off and it keeps all that moisture in. So now the next item I have, is this Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. And this is the Matte and Poreless. And this is in the shade 360 Mocha. If you guys can see that. So that's this. I am wearing it today and I love this stuff. My daughter uses this and um, I just needed to change. I needed a change. So I decided to try this out and I love it. Um, I love the way it looks on me. It looks really good. It feels good. It doesn't feel like I'm wearing anything. So I really like it and it's easy to apply. I do use my beauty blender. If you guys don't know, I love my beauty blender. Nothing can keep, can compare to it. Not the real technique sponge, none of that stuff. So this with the beauty blender, awesome. Now the next favorite I have is this L'Oreal Magic Lumi um, Lightning Infusing Primer. So you, what you do with this is that you, I usually add this into my foundation and I'm just gonna put some on my hands so you guys can see how that looks. I know it's a little stark, but you add it in there and you mix it up a little bit. And I use, and I have one, I have one of those metal palettes from Mac and I use that to mix the, um, mix this in with the foundation. And then I use a beauty blender to apply. And it just gives my face a little luminous glow. 
it's really pretty for when you're like going out or something like that I don't really wear it for like everyday office stuff because I don't need it for that <laughs> but you could if that's your thing but I don't need it for that the next item I have is an oldie but a goodie this sparkle till morning wet and wild palette I love this palette I use it all the time let me take it off so y'all can see like this is a loved palette I use it all the time I love it and I use this for my looks for Hanukkah and it was like loved it loved it the next favorite I have this month is an Etsy shop you know December November December Black Friday sales Etsy shops are doing their holiday sales and stuff like that I took advantage of a shop that I didn't really um, shop at before and I first um, placed an order for Black Friday and then I think a couple of weeks later I placed another order so I was thoroughly enjoying her stickers this month and that is the lovely Jameson Reed designs and this is a sample of what her stickers look like and this is hand drawn by her by Jody. and I mean just absolutely gorgeous and you can get these girls in any shade that you are okay gorgeous okay gorgeous the planner girl in me is just like yes I love her stickers they are so cute and so whimsical I just love them and also let me show you like a little of her like this is her functional sheet I mean so cute so I'll be sure to also link her shop down below. And as of everything else, the only thing I don't think that I'll be able to find is the sparkle till morning. But if I do find it, I'll link it below. But I think this was limited edition. I don't know, but I'm sure a lot of people still have this. I don't know if you do, but like this is back when wet and wild shadows were like everything. So I absolutely love this. And uh, so thank you guys so much. My gosh, I haven't been in front of the camera in so long and I feel like I don't know how to talk. I feel like I'm stumbling all over the place with this favorites video. But thank you guys for bearing with me, okay? Thank you for hanging in there. I wanna thank all my new subscribers. Guys, you are awesome, you guys rock. Oh, I love this community so much. So much for watching this video and I'll check you guys out in the next video. Bye.